I switch sides, it shows you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to come back to the keywords when I'm reading out loud.
to share his detail and also what I said to him. So Prem, what detail did you find about culture, time, or place? So I found a detail about time. It said to the pond and back, to the pond and back, nearly a full day of walking all together. Then Miss McLeod said, you might want to choose a different detail if we use that one already. Because we've used that one already, right? Haven't previously we talked about how she spends all day walking back and forth? Yes, so we could definitely use that detail. That one's perfect for citing, but there are other details that this chapter is revealing new things to us. Um, Tyra, what detail did you notice? And tell me, is it culture, time, or place? It is culture because when she Can said, you speak loud enough so it, everybody can hear? It is culture because her mom, Nadia and her little sister, was like, um, Nadia and Na Naya to uh, take her little sister to the pond and teach her to uh, put the wood in the thing. So her sister has to go with her. So let's go ahead and take a moment to write that down under, I'm writing it down here. I'm writing the quote down here. No. no. Okay, yeah. okay, let's write it down. I'm going to start with the part that says... to teach the younger ones. I also remember earlier in the chapter, like earlier, earlier in the book, do you get where I'm going? Where? It's okay. When Salva, remember, had
had to help his brother with the cattle, and it's his job to teach his brother with the cattle. Let's make sure we have that written down for culture. And remember, we're not writing anything in this box, right? We're going to use it later. We're going to use it when it comes time to just match your writing. Miss McCloud, remind you to give me a team lunch tonight. What city? Thank you. Yeah. I remember. Come in in the class. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and read some more. This time, this time it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you all. But I feel like you all already have impressed me. I think you're up to the challenge. This time I'm going to read all the way to page 22. I'm not stopping until I get to the end of page 22. If, or to the end of that section, if as I'm reading you find a detail that tells us about the culture, time, or place, you're just going to write it down, even if that means that you miss other parts of what I'm reading. As soon as you find one, you're going to start writing it down here. All right, so have your pens at the ready. Be making sure you're looking at the book so that you can follow along and you can quote as soon as we're ready. We'll come back to that later. Thank you for reminding me. All right, Southern Sudan, 1985. We were in 2008. We're going back to 1985. Salva held his breath as he scanned the faces one by one. Then the air left his lungs and seemed to take all hope with it. Strangers, no one from his family. So keeping in mind that this is when the woman's like, the pond has dried up and we need to, I'm going to leave you. And then some strangers come. The old woman came up behind him and greeted the group. Where are you going, she asked. A few of the people exchanged uneasy glances. There was no reply. Uneasy, not easy. It's almost like they're like, do we want to tell her? Do we not want to tell her? I don't think they want to tell her. 